today we're going to do a really simple tutorial. Um, we're going to do a tutorial on using decorative washi tapes to add a little bit of glitz and glimmer to an illustration or a stamped image that you've already created. And I'm just using some washi tapes that I picked up at Michael's. I actually don't care for them that much because they have a waxy coating. They're a little harder to use and they tend to be a little too sticky in that they will tear up the paper underneath sometimes. Um, but it is what I have on hand. And uh, once they're adhered, they do stick pretty well. So you're going to want an X-Acto knife. And as I am surveying my area, I see that my blue X-Acto knife has taken a walk, leaving me with the much less desirable swivel X-Acto knife. Aha, here's a, always keep a backup, guys. So the materials you're gonna need are pretty simple. You might also wanna grab a pencil or a pen and you don't actually need the watercolors that happen to be in that shot. And I need to get rid of this because they are not a sponsor. All right, so to get started, we first wanna decide where we wanna put our washi tape down. And I have some really thick washi tape here and I'm going to carefully and gently put it down here. And you wanna work with a finished illustration or image because you're gonna be cutting this a bit and you don't want to, um, if you try to paint over this and there's like nicks in the paper, it's going to basically have a, a capillary action where your paints will get drawn into the cut and will spread. So it'll cause bleeding of the paper. So we'll zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And this is a great little technique for you stampers who wanna add some glimmer and gold to your images without having to do foiling. And you can usually see through your washi tape. So we're just going to cut and remove. And you wanna work in segments rather than laying down a whole piece. That way, if you're doing like clothing folds the way I am, you see it removed a little bit of the blue there, but I don't think anybody's gonna notice that. Um, if you have clothing folds, it will undu undulate along with the folds. And I'll demonstrate that for you guys in a moment, but already it's pretty cute. And if you like the image that I'm working on, I actually did a tutorial on how to paint this. This is my own art. Um, I did a tutorial as part of my watercolor basics series. I'm sorry, that animal dying in the background noise is my cat who thinks they need attention and they really don't. They're downstairs, they know where I am. As you can see, like right here, it will pick up a little bit of the paint. So you do wanna be careful. And this is over an original watercolor illustration of mine. So you, if you're working with your original art, you really wanna be careful, but it's sort of like um, a cheap way really of doing cut paper techniques. And this is a great way to really special, make your, your holiday cards stand out this year, make them really special. Doesn't really take a lot of effort. And gold foil, oh, see I messed up there so I have to redo the whole thing. Gold foil uh, washi tapes should be in abundance this time of year because it is Christmas time, at least when I'm recording this. Can't speak for when y'all are watching this. I'm not even really trying to line up the design too much. Okay, that's super hard to see right there. And I goofed it again, but you know what I'm gonna do? Cause I haven't cut anything else on that is I'm just going to bring it down. 
There we go. Oh, man, my allergies are just driving me bonkers today. It seems like as soon as I start recording, maybe it's something over here by my camera. And if you have one, you could probably do this at a light table. It might help you see through your washi tape a little bit better. As you guys can see, I'm having some problems seeing through it in some places. Uh, I wish that cat would shut up. I know it's not very nice. Okay, and then here as well. Trying to follow the folds of the dress. And I'm also trying to work quickly so I can go see what that cat needs. You know what, I actually want to cut, I think, a larger piece to go along that curve a bit better. Now, because this washi tape has a a, um, a waxy surface, I wouldn't really recommend stamping on top of it, but there are many that don't. So even what you could do if you really want to make life simple in your stamper, um, you could stamp your image and then lay out maybe your washi tape on, say, an Ink Essentials craft mat like this and then stamp and then use that um, as a template for cutting might be easier than what I'm doing. But like I said, I am working with my original art, so it is not a stamp. I do not have that luxury. And you don't want to press down on your tape until you finish cutting every piece because you are going to be removing pieces like we're doing here. And of course, I messed up that piece quite a bit. So I'm just gonna have to reapply. And uh, that's what I have to do when things don't quite turn out the way I wanted or I planned. And that happens pretty often because I am an artist and I do, oh, I'm gonna have to leave that down because it tore up the paper underneath. I do, see? See another place where it didn't go quite as planned. Um, I do work with traditional media, which has a learning curve. So, you know, there have been many pieces. In fact, I try to do it on the channel so you guys can see. There have been many pieces that just didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. And I had to either push through or restart. You can't just get frustrated and throw your hands up in the air and give up. Well, I guess you could. But you're never going to get where you want to go with that attitude. Okay, so that's pretty much, that part has been finished. Gonna grab a quick photo for those of you who enjoy following along on the blog. And um, I could do pink, but the pink is so wide. Um, I think I could also do this at the top maybe. I was gonna do gold, but I don't know, it's so faint. Ugh. wants to tear up my my paper even when I put hardly any of it down it's just overly sticky I mean it's probably not even a true washi tape since washi tape is made with washi paper and this seems these seem to be made with like a waxy paper with an adhesive on them and washi tape in general tends to be a little bit more delicate as well You can also, you should be able to at least, very gently, if the curve is slight enough, that might be too much of a curve. Yeah, it's gonna be too much of a curve. Sometimes you can curve your washi tape and it won't, um, it won't like leave a little crease, but the curve has to be very slight for you to get away with that. Okay, we're gonna just put that there then. Of course, I goofed. I cut too shallow. Mm, too far into the tape. 
and see if I can gently lift it and replace it very gently. Another part of the problem is I am working on Cancer Montval, which is what I painted on, and Cancer Montval will, sh will slough your pigments when you're painting on it. So I shouldn't be surprised that a little bit of washi tape that just happens to have too much tack would cause the same problem. This is not the intended use case for either any of these anyway. But isn't it fun to play around with new materials and learn new things? I think so. It didn't have as much of a curve as I would like. I'm gonna try to cheat that. And lining it up. Oh, see, that looks okay, but I need to trim that to have a curve. I wish I had a little narrow pink one. Maybe I can do that just on, no, cause I'd have to the way I did with the other. Now normally I would say you ought to tighten up your lines like I did in that gold and white um, inking tutorial on tone tan paper. Unfortunately, in other experiments with this washi tape, I've tried going over it with some of my favorite uh, inks that should be able to go over this sort of stuff. They're kind of indelible while still being artist quality. And um, they just didn't, they smeared. So unless you want to go over it with a Sharpie, which is not archival, I would just recommend being at peace with what comes out. Or using a different washi tape. Don't use the stuff from Michaels that is waxy as heck because the other stuff you should be able to draw and ink over it. And this stuff has its purposes too. I use it in my con setups and to seal packages from my online shop. I'm trying to cut out with mixed success some of the little, the, the gathers from the skirt of her dress to better give the illusion that I didn't just copy and paste something in here. Are you going to lift up my ink? All right, so for her little sandals, I want to do the straps in gold. Did that not? There we go. So I'm gonna have to be very delicate and do them one at a time. And the gold is pretty opaque, so it's really hard to see through it. Oh, I didn't cut it long enough. And it took all the skin off the heel? Are you for real? Oh my gosh, how... S <laughs> okay, fine. Look at that! It peeled the, 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 the paint right off the paper, wow. Okay, so now I guess I get to do close-heeled uh, close sandals. Thanks. Just like right off the paper. And I'm trying to be super delicate too. Are you for real? Oh God, it's doing it even more now with the pink. You know what though, I didn't clean off the palette that I mixed the paints in, so I might... Are you serious? <sighs> I mean, I really wrecked that foot there, and trying to paint over it on a poor quality paper like this is just not gonna, just not gonna cut it. You know what? Fine. This is easier to see through and it tends to be less sticky. So we'll see what we can get with this. So I'm going to do a close heel sandal since the gold already wrecked that for me. And see, as frustrated as I got, I'm still 
willing to brainstorm things, try to figure it out, try to find a solution. I haven't given up. Oh, it's gonna be too sticky. I was so careful with it. Dang it, I really hate this tape. Cause I've done this with other brands, not on camera. Oh, and see, I'm not even on camera there. Uh, what is it, the YouTuber's curse? If something can go wrong, it's gonna go wrong on camera. I seem to get more of that curse than other artists. Ha, 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 got you. Okay, so those weren't exactly the sandals that I had in mind, but they work. What I'd wanted was gold, little gold sandals would have gone better with the outfit, but you know. You deal with the hand you've been given. So I'm going to do what I told you guys not to worry about. I'm gonna take a, take a Sailor Mitzvah Ida, which is one of my most recommended pens. I'm going to try. Yes, he doesn't want to draw on the wax tape at all. Going to reestablish some lines. Try to do it very carefully. Because um, once I've started cutting up the paper like this, it's it basically allows for a lot of bleeding. And I wish this tape allowed me to draw on it, but it does not. It has a wax resist thing going on, so. Anyway, the theory for this tip is very simple. Um, it doesn't really require many materials. It does require patience. It requires maybe having a washi tape that isn't the Recollections brand washi tape from uh, Michaels, since that is so very prone to ripping up paper. Um, I really think it is a neat little technique that I recommend that you guys try out for yourselves. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like, consider subscribing for more artsy tips and tricks, and head on over to my blog, natosoup.blogspot.com for seven years worth of arty goodness aimed at helping just about anybody who wants to learn how to draw. I've got loads of alcohol marker reviews. I've got watercolor tutorials. I've got watercolor product reviews. I've got uh, food aid pin reviews and more over there. So just head on over and if you ever have any questions, just leave me a email. Uh, I have difficulty accessing the comments over there. So email is the best way to get a hold of me. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos like it, make sure you leave me a comment and let me know that you think I did a good job. I'm gonna try to add some curve to this because that's the kind of person I am, just forever nitpicking. If it tears over here, I won't try it elsewhere. If this video inspired you, encouraged you, or gave you an idea you hadn't thought of before, there are loads of ways you can let me know and maybe even show a little appreciation, which goes a long way. You can head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash natosoup for information on how to join my art nerd community. Art nerds get early access to videos and they also get voting rights on content. So if you would like to see me make more crafty content over more art artsy content, join the community and let me know. I'm gonna quit nitpicking at that because there's no way to, to fix that. I'm also gonna grab these paints, which I let dry, but they are the colors used in this tutorial. I like how I started my sign off and then I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna paint a little bit. But they have had loads of time to evaporate. So they are much darker than when I mix them, which is great because I am refining shadows and covering up mistakes and adding a few little details, which is not something you need to, to feel like you have to do. That is not what this tutorial was about. This is not about guilting you into painting. I have loads of other content that'll guilt you into painting but I figured I could maybe marry the, the tape and the piece together a little better with some additional details. Sometimes adding your own details really makes something 
feel more like it's your work and not a stamp and not a digi stamp and not something you pulled off the internet, but something that's really you. And it doesn't take a whole lot of time. doesn't even take a lot of art skills you know a lot of a lot of crafty people say you don't need to be an artist which I call bull I think you are an artist and I did do a video on that I hope it encouraged and inspired some of you guys because I believe in you even if they don't seem to believe in you but you do not have to be the most skilled of artists you don't have to be the most proficient to be able to add just a few little details here and there to really make something look like it's yours. And not to throw shade at the end of the video, but I do kind of resent it when people say things like that. They make it seem like being an artist is a bad thing. Okay, so we added just a few little details here and there just to, you know, add some more interest to this little illustration. And for those of you who are curious who this little lady is, she is Kara, the main character from my all ages comic, Seven Inch Kara. You can check out the first volume of which it's all watercolor except for the bonus story. You can check out the first uh, volume of Seven Inch Kara over at natosoup.com slash Kara hyphen comic. And uh, if you have kids, this might be a really great gift for them because it is a kid's watercolor comic. I am fanatically passionate about creating quality content for kids, which is why my videos are all ages appropriate. So, um, you know, if you ever feel like watching these videos with your kid who might want to be an artist, you are totally welcome to do so and encouraged. And if your kid ever has any questions or comments, wants to see anything demonstrated or like to see me draw something in particular just leave me a comment and let me know that you watch this video my videos with your kids and you want to see that I would be more than happy to help you out I I love art I love drawing and I want to make it as accessible as possible to as many people as possible so I'm Becca Hilburn thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me if you want to make more content like this possible head on over to the patreon at patreon.com slash natosoup for information on how to join the art nerd community and what sort of perks are coming your way. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and consider subscribing for more great artsy content twice a week from me. If you ever have any questions, just let me know in the comments of this video below. I do read my comments, so just feel free to address me directly. I hope you guys have a great day and I will hopefully see you again really soon. Bye guys!